In today's video, we're covering the top five best penny slot machines to play, as well as those scenarios where playing pennies is the best bet. Welcome back everybody to the Cowboy Slot Channel where we bring you experienced advice from years of working in the casinos, tips, reviews, and so much more. Please be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell to stay notified for when we come out with future episodes. Now, if you've watched our channel before, you know that playing penny machines is not really something that's recommended. They can be a challenge to build up your bankroll on. They are oftentimes associated with higher volatile games and also the chances of getting a jackpot on a penny machine are much lower than their higher denom counterparts. So before we dive into our list of top five best penny slot machines to play, here's just a couple scenarios that playing penny machines is perfectly fine. The first scenario, of course, being that you are strictly in the game for the entertainment and you're not really expecting anything big. Not every single casino visit is all about getting a jackpot. Sometimes you just wanna have fun and have a little enjoyment and an entertaining visit. For this reason, penny machines are great. Maybe you just wanna kill some time or you just wanna low roll for a bit and you're not really concerned about building up your bankroll or trying to get a jackpot. Everyone, of course, has their own play situations and some people just really love penny games. The second scenario being penny games are actually great for testing out a game that you're unsure of. Maybe you're not sure that you want to play it at a higher level yet and you just want to take it for a test drive and see how it plays. Most slot machine games do come in a wide selection of denominations starting at a penny and going all the way up to the higher levels. So maybe this is just a great way if you found a new game that you think you might like but you're not sure and you really don't want to invest a whole lot of money into it right now, then playing the penny version of this game is going to be a better bet. And since most slot games do come in a wide selection of denominations, maybe you play this penny game and you really like it, then you can go and look for it in a higher level if you are looking to build up your bankroll or you really want to get a jackpot. Biggest thing to keep in mind with penny games is before you play them, always check the bet amount because that is the biggest thing that really deceives a lot of people when they sit down to play penny games. If you're just playing the game for fun or to test it out, and there's no real benefit to playing max, then just play a lower amount, but always check the game rules and make sure that you're not missing out on any benefit by playing a lesser amount. If you do start to find yourself playing a higher amount on penny games, then maybe kind of reevaluate a little bit and see if you want to go to a higher denomination and play the same amount of money. So let's get started now with our top five picks on the best penny slot games to play and why that is. Number five, Wicked Wheel by Every. Tons of people play this game and really seem to have a passion for it. It is a really fun game and it can offer some exciting gameplay and some bonus rounds that are pretty exciting even at a lower bet amount. It has great graphics great sound, and the line hits can be pretty decent on it, especially at the lower bet amounts. It does also have some progressive jackpots that are relatively obtainable, but you really should not make this the object of playing the game. Stick with that fun factor, and if you happen to get a progressive, that's great, but don't chase those progressives and really just kind of keep those as a added bonus if you get them. Wicked Wheel is also a very common game and can be found in most casinos and many places. Number four, Legend of the Phoenix. Now this particular penny game can keep you playing for a long time, but there is one big thing to note about it that you should know before you start playing this game. Each of the different bet levels have different must hit by bonus amounts. So before you sit down, cycle through all of the bet amounts and see if any of those bonuses are close to that must hit by number. Funny story about this one, I actually did sit down with $100 and played this game for well over two hours and continually hovered around my $100 initial investment that I had put into the machine. So not only is it a fun and exciting game, but it can keep your bankroll lasting for a long time, especially if you're just wanting to sit there and play for some entertainment or to kill some time. This game also offers some surprise bonuses that do pop up at random, adding to the excitement of the game. Number three, Quick Hits Boost. Now, this version of Quick Hits is relatively new to the Quick Hits family, but I think that out of all of the Quick Hit versions, 
reasons that this one is probably the most entertaining. Kind of like Legend of the Phoenix, this one also offers surprise pop-up bonuses that can trigger at random and keep your bankroll going for a lot longer. This is definitely one of those really fun games that is especially fun if you are with a group of friends and maybe you are trying to compete with one another to see who gets the bonus round first or who can make the most in a short amount of time. Mark and myself actually had a lot of fun on this game. We played it when we were in Reno and it lasted forever. It is another one of those games that we can put $100 into and it lasts for a very, very long time. Out of all of the Quick Hit series of games, which of course Quick Hits has been around forever, I would have to say that this one we had the most entertaining time with and our bankroll lasted a lot longer. But not only that, but it seemed like the bonuses on Quick Hit Boost actually triggered a lot more frequently and were a lot more rewarding. Number two is Scarab by IGT. Now this one is definitely unique and it has really grown on me. Scarab is available at the higher DNOM levels, but I have yet to find it, which hopefully I will soon because this is kind of the perfect example of playing a penny game to see how you like it. And if you wanna move up to the higher DNOMs, and I would definitely say that of all these penny games, probably Scarab, if I were to find it at the higher level, I would definitely play it at the higher level because I had so much fun on it. Scarab is a persistence-based game that runs on a 10-game cycle, meaning that games 1 through 9, you are collecting scarabs that will turn wild on your 10th spin. It kind of almost feels like a guaranteed bonus round every 10th spin, so you get really excited on spins 1 through 9 collecting all of those scarabs to see how fruitful that 10th spin is going to be when all of those scarabs turn wild. Now Scarab does have a counter at the bottom right hand corner of the screen so you can actually see what spin number you're on and each of these are going to be varied from different bet amounts so before you sit down at the game cycle through all of the bet amounts and see what spin number it's at and who knows maybe you'll get really lucky and maybe the person that played the game before you didn't understand the game and maybe they left it on game eight or nine with a lot of potential wilds on the screen. So just be sure that when you sit down to play Scarab, cycle through all of the bet amounts and see what the current spin number is at. Finally, now we get to our number one pick, which is Double Diamond Free Games. Now this one is definitely an older game, but it is still being made today in newer cabinets and newer titles and newer configuration. Now you may find this game in an older five or three reel configuration, but it is still being made in newer cabinets that come in a newer three reel configuration. It may also have different names such as I Heart Free Games. The biggest thing about Double Diamond Free Games is not only does it seem like the free games feature actually comes around relatively frequently, but the actual free spins can be very, very good. These free games can also re-trigger frequently, making the bonus even more exciting. My personal favorite are the three reel configurations of Double Diamond free games, as the five reel configuration can be a lot more of a challenge to hit something good on. These games are also relatively common and can be found in most casinos. Kind of like Legend of the Phoenix, I have a story about this game of putting $100 into a penny version of Double Diamond free games and playing it for hours on end, leaving with actually more than what I started with. This game can really keep your bankroll going, especially if you are working with a lower bankroll, and for that reason, it's my number one choice. Playing penny games is probably not going to yield you a jackpot. While it is possible, it is a lot more difficult than, say, a higher DNOM game. The biggest takeaway for penny games is really just to keep your expectations in check. You don't want to play penny games to try to build up your bankroll or chase a jackpot. Just keep the reality of that in mind and use it just for the entertainment factor and to test out the game to see if you like it. Leave us your comments down below of your favorite penny games or stories that you have of playing penny games. And who knows, maybe you're one of those lucky few out there that actually landed a jackpot playing a penny game. We would love to hear from you. So always remember to have fun, stay within your bankroll, and enjoy the game. Thanks so much for watching. Check out these other videos and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more slot tips. It's always free. Visit ropethejackpot.com for free guides and a whole lot more. Catch you on the next episode.